Brothers and sisters, I'm sure many of you can attest to the wonders of God and what He has done and continues to do in our lives. This evening, we are so pleased to welcome one of our newer members to share his testimony about the goodness of God. Join me in welcoming Brother Lenroy Archer. Sounds are very inspiring, relaxing, and soothing to one's mind. The Bible mentioned about Psalms 75 times, such as in Colossians 3 verse 16, James 5 verse 13, Psalm 28 verse 7. You know, there are so many Psalms out there that inspire me, like, How great is our God! I am forever grateful. The victor's crown, you made a way. But just to mention a few, but the one song that really stands out and really touches my heart is the goodness of God. I will always remember the church service on the 15th of March. Never forget that. When the worship leader led that song, The Goodness of God, I was so caught up, you know, thinking of the goodness of God in my life that I cannot even sing that song and tears come to my eyes. You know, all of us have experienced God's goodness in some way, even as it was mentioned in the most, one of the most memorable verses in the Bible, John 3 16. When he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. He didn't send him, he gave him. You know, and all of us have, can come for that experience. You know, even as we look back on our lives, we can see the goodness of God in our life in some way. Even when we had no God and did not have a relationship with him, we can see his goodness. Two occasions which reminding me of his goodness. I can remember my mom telling me in my teen years, years that when I was two years old, I was so sick. I had to be the doctor almost every day. But the doctors told her and my grandmother, take home that little teeny weeny that boy. Let him lay in the bed and die. But thank God, it's 60 years plus that day that I'm still here alive, thanking God for his goodness. Thank you, Jesus. And another occasion, back in 1983, you know, I had a sister who was diagnosed with cancer. And to see her go through the pain and the suffering, you know, at that time I took sick also. And I believe I had cancer. I started to worry, and I believe that also make it worse. That even now, the day of her funeral, I cannot even attend her funeral. I was home alone, you know, but I was not alone. God was there. I didn't know that at that time, because I didn't have no relationship with God. And I felt so sick. I was there laying, laying down in a chair and I passed out after feeling so chilly. But then I awake feeling refreshed and renewed. But now, as I come to know God, I thank Him for His goodness. Thank him for his love on me, for his mercy. He has great things in store for me. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. As the song says, all our lives he has been faithful and he's been good. But not only good, but so, so good. Good. The tree goes behind it then. You know, at times he also lays us through the fire. I we can reflect on Daniel's three friends who were cast into that fiery furnace, hotter than hotter. But God has been there for them. You know, even the men who threw Daniel's friends at the fire, before they reached the bottom, they were scorched. But Daniel's three friends, not even as the hair on their hand was singed or the smell of smoke around their bodies. Oh my God. But you know, even if you pass by a fire, and we ain't air control vehicles. We don't eat, we can smell smoky. But you can imagine those three guys came out, not even to smell of smoke. God, you are great. You are good. You have been good to us. As we reflect on the goodness of God, we can picture our, ourselves like at the sea with a tidal wave. You know, the wave coming all its furry and we running from it, but it's still coming after us. That's how God's goodness will run after us. You know, we, not, we should not only really think of the major times of His goodness, 
but think of the minute things of daily life as we eat, as we drink, as we travel, as he provided for us in every way. That is his goodness. I wish we be thankful for him in those things. Even now, as we encounter people on our traveling who are going through times of difficulty, maybe from COVID or some other situation, you know, we can give them a word of a song of God's goodness. And who knows what that song, what that word can do. And when we sing songs, let's not get carried away by the beat or the music, but think on the lyrics. I may not be a good singer, but I'm going to finish with the chorus from the song, The Goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. And I will sing of the goodness of God. And I will sing of the goodness of God.